What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back, checking out the video. Working on the Skyline today. Doing the big brake up kit, the CTSV brake up kit. Check it out. CTSV caliper, original Z32. I've already done the passenger side over there. I'll show you that here in a second. But I'm using the CTSV brakeswap.com kit. Comes with the bracket, the hardware a tap. You're gonna need a brake line kit, which is gonna give you the banjo bolt fitting. You're gonna need some 350Z Brembo package rotors, pads, hardware, which I have here. Um, and uh, I think that's it, some brake fluid. And I think that's it. All right, so step number one is, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the dust shield. All I gotta do is just chisel it right here a little bit and then you can just rip this whole thing off. All right, so the bracket, goes like this and then you run a bolt through the top and it really doesn't fit right now because this bottom part of it's actually hitting the bottom part of the knuckle here so we have to grind this down a little bit so you can get this to fit okay and after it fits I'm gonna have to tap this bottom bolt and we'll tap it from this side back here with the simple light two taps all right it really doesn't take much grinding to get that on there you just have to grind a little bit there this makes things a whole lot easier if you use some tapping uh, fluid and I actually have a handle for the tap if you don't have one you can use like a set of wrenches or something but uh, recommend using a, a handle because you'll get it in there straighter the tap with the kit is actually pretty good it actually cuts pretty well. Supplied bolt and washer, just gonna check it real quick. Make sure it goes in there nice and smooth. Crack it, put it on there. Now you should be able to thread the big bolt right in here. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and just loosely hook this up so you can see how much you have to grind off the caliper actually. All right, so if we look and if you start turning the caliper like this, it's gonna start hitting. It's actually gonna start hitting right here and then back here, gonna have to grind this leg off right here. Yeah, so you can see a little line where I've kind of marked it, but you can also see kind of where the, that bracket scratched it, but you're gonna have to take that whole thing off and make it as flat as you can. It's gonna get really ugly. All right, so you're gonna end up with something like this. Just try to grind it as cleanly as possible, which is pretty tough. But you're gonna grind it all the way down like that. And on the knuckle, you still gotta do a little bit more grinding. I forgot to tell you right away. But this right here has to go also. You gotta you're gonna have to grind this pretty much all the way down, to be able to get the caliper on also. As far as brake lines go, you're gonna wanna have the input for the line up top like that, and then you do that, your bleeders are upside down. You're going to have to move your bleeders up to the top and take this line and move it back here, okay? So what I learned from the other side is is that you want this this line to go in and underneath the ball joint that you have here. It's going to come around. You're going to attach it here and you're going to attach it up here. All right, so the stock rotor and the 350Z Brimbo package rotor, a little bit of a difference there. Just remember to go ahead and Hit some of these with some brake clean and clean them off real good before you slap them off. Once you got the bracket on there, you gotta remember there's one more washer that you're gonna have to put right here before you put the caliper on, okay? It's gonna go like that. It's gonna space it out just a little bit. So don't forget this washer is real important. So the stop tech pads come with the bracket and the pins, so I have to buy the GM. Hardware. It installs real easy. It's a super common brake pad. Evo 8s use them. A lot of cars use them. Super fast to put on. Oh wow, look. These things are super, super cool looking. Last step is to go ahead and just bleed these guys. 